Good morning guys, Bethany the Moody here. It is exactly 3.22 a.m. on March 23rd and everything. Um, I was finally able to get that one video loaded up. Um, I fell asleep last night around like 9, 10 o'clock and everything and then Right before I went to bed, I added to upload the video to YouTube. And when I woke up about 2.30, 2 2.45 a.m., it was loaded. So, I hope you guys check that video out. And I just want to say, like, subscribe, or share. Um, so, I have planes today with a case manager. Got to do a home visit and everything else. Um, probably have us take a walk or something so I can get out and about, get some vitamin D, um, to get some exercises in it. And then on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I cannot remember which of those three days, my friend is coming out and we're going to be walking as well. And then today, I gotta go and pick up my monthly medication, uh, my vitamins and stuff like that. Um, I was not, unfortunately, able to get back to sleep. So I just got dressed for the day, as you see. Um, so to about 8.30 in the morning, I'm probably just gonna listen to some music, chill out, jam. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Um, hopefully, Oh, I have my stimulus by tomorrow um, between 12 a.m. and 8 a.m. is when it's supposed to be deposited. So hopefully I will get that stimulus. And it'd be even better for me if I can get it today. But I don't see that happening. And I really, really hope I'm in the second wave to get my SSI stimulus check because I owe the big money. Um, and probably will own the bank a lot more money by the time Wednesday comes around and everything. Um, what takes me off is the IRS is just stalling. They're purposely, deliberately stalling for the SSI recipients to get their stimulus this time around. And I don't know why, but it's really aggravating all of us right now. And we're really, really are sick of waiting because we needed that stuff like literally two weeks ago when they would start doing the first wave. Um, so hopefully we get it Wednesday, if not sooner, hopefully today. Um, this is ridiculous. IRS is just stalling to put all funds in our account. And as SSI recipients, we need the money more than anyone else. Um, so hopefully we get it. Um, for the Chase customers, uh, check your bank account on Wednesday between 12 a.m. and 8 a.m. Um, Easter Standard Time. Um, so, you know, to just keep an eye on it. Um, and if you have it already, enroll. If you have texts in the app, enroll into a notification system. So when you get, let's say, if you get a deposit over $5, they will send you a text or whatever um because that's why i did um instead of me keep looking and constantly back and forth it drives me crazy um so anyway i really hope me and the rest of my friends and my support people that i do talk to that's on ssi which is also some other people i know um hopefully we get our checks Wednesday between 12 a.m. and 8 a.m. Because we all, most of us, are Chase clients. So, anyway, I just really hope and pray that we get it. Um, I hope everyone has a good day today because things are just getting worse. Um, because, I mean, of course, this plane pandemic. Um... And it's a lot of false positives. And with the false positives comes with incubation. And incubation also kills people. Um, I know a lot about how this COVID stuff really is. And what it is. And why they're doing it. 
um, and it's not good. It's just part of the deep state Illuminati and all this other stuff. Um, so we haven't had that since the 1800s. So the Fosse, the Bill Gates, um, all of them decide to remake the virus and release it. So anyway, um, it's all part of the population. Child Protective Cult Services, which they do not protect our children. They abuse our children and cause them trauma and traffic our children out. Every single one of them is part of the depopulation agenda. Just to know, let you guys know, um, they get funding for tearing people's um, innocent families apart. Um, and they get funding and they can uh, basically still get funding once they meet the quote, the adoption quota. If they don't meet the adoption quota, whether it's um, for whatever reason, then they will lose funding. That's why they commit fraud so much because it's the state's quota. You have to take a certain amount of kids away every year and adopt them out uh, to meet the quota, to continue to get funding and to depopulate. It's pure evil. It's an evil system that is set up to make people fail just for profit. And so many innocent families are being torn apart, losing their infants at birth, losing their kids, all for profit, for the state, CPS, all their selfish gain. People was like, um, you must do something to lose your kids. All these other parents must have done something to lose your kids. No, do your research. Educate yourself. Um, you won't understand unless it didn't happen to you. You want to understand if you're not friends with applicants who has this has happened to. We all thought we couldn't be touched, but guess what? We were touched by fraud. That's how they strip our rights away. And don't let them tell you there's no abuse registries. Because there is. And we, you get your kids yanked away forever. Your rights get stripped away. They automatically put you on that abuse registry to depopulate. And rather, whatever the case is, most of the time, it's fraud that they did to strip your rights away. For profit, to meet the adoption quota so they can still continue to get funding to kidnap your kids get that through your heads wake up America wake up at least our problem is the border we need to work on what's going on and happening in our state in our United States of America so I'm going in this video um on a quick note don't trust people in badges don't trust people that's in a uniform do not trust the state do not trust the government because they will screw you out everything best believe it if they don't like you or you did one little thing that it skips their religious beliefs or if you're a christian they don't believe in god you're targeted it doesn't matter what you do you don't have to do nothing they can target you do not trust anyone with a badge, do not t trust anyone in uniform, do not trust any state workers, county workers, government workers, do not trust absolutely none of those people because they're all part of the deep state. And if you really want to hurt someone's kids, then feel free to call CPS. Do not call CPS if it's just a minor, minor thing. So anyway. I'm going to end this video. I want to say I love you guys. Mwah, and God bless. Peace.